Fiction writing is maybe the only way you can get someone fully into the head of someone they might never meet on the street or even in their daily lives. Fiction writing allows me to express someone's life on paper and have someone else in Wisconsin pick that book up and say, oh, now I might understand how it feels to grow up in a place like Riverside, California. Now I might understand how it feels to be caught in Hurricane Katrina. Now I might understand what it feels like to be a single mom with six kids. So to me, fiction writing, like movies, um, like poetry, like music, like dance, like painting, is that art that allows you to fully immerse yourself in the life of someone that you would never run into. I've taught at UCR for 22 years, and a lot of people ask me, why don't you just stay home and write? And I love teaching. I have the best students. I actually have arguments all the time with people from New York and LA and other places that shall remain unnamed, and I say my students are the best. I think because we have the only creative writing undergraduate major in the UC system, I get students from all over the state and all over the country that want to write fiction and poetry and memoir. My students, I think, are the best because a lot of them are first generation. They have stories no one's heard before. I have students who are first generation Filipino American whose parents are from the country and who join a gang in San Bernardino and write a novel about it. I have students whose parents were born in Alabama and write about being first generation African Americans living in San Bernardino. I have students from LA, from San Francisco. I have students from China first-generation students from Vietnam. I've had a student from Nigeria who wrote amazing short stories about Nigeria. I think the best part of teaching for me is that I learn all the new slang. I get to hang out with people who are younger than me and so are much more interesting to me intrinsically than myself. I also love teaching because I like the structure of writing. I like teaching someone how to make a paragraph and then a full story out of, say, one idea that came to them maybe while they were driving down the freeway. One of my favorite students said he came up with his best poetry while riding the bus and looking out the window and that one line would come to him and he had to be patient enough to make the next lines and I like that idea of teaching as shaping.